All right, so Mike, you've been working on a female jungle fighters yes. project, right? Yep. So, and this is for a client. It is. But uh, what you've come up with is probably more complicated than the original scope. That's probably of true. the simplest thing that we could have done to fill the contract, uh -huh. which is great. So we're making this video for him right. to show how awesome it could be. Okay. So go ahead. So right. what do you have in mind? So what I have in mind is sculpting a set of five miniatures that okay. are, you know, to some extent in interchangeable with each other. Right. Maybe not fully across all five, but, uh, you know, arms. So a, a, a miniature would be legs and a torso and arms? Yep. And a head? And a head. And okay. some gear. But and the gear, gear would be universal. So, so hold, hold on a second. How many, how many different types of legs? Would Five be? different kinds of legs. Wow, that's yeah. a lot of different kinds of legs. Okay, and how yep. many different kinds of torsos? Five. F uh, wow, yes. okay. <laughs> this is great. Okay, and, and, and what else? five heads, five okay. different heads, five different sets of arms. Okay. And, uh, and then the okay. difference of gear would be... So know, I, I can tell, I can tell you right now that for the scale that the project is currently, uh -huh. with the current budget, it's about half of that. Uh, which is great. I mean, that gives you a lot of variation. Hold on a second. All right. Okay. So anyway, so which would be plenty of variation, yeah. right? Yeah. But five legs, five torsos, five heads. Yeah. That's with posing. Uh huh. That's in. All right. Let's see your sketches. All right. So the sketches I've done. Okay. This uh, sample backpack. Okay. Uh, hand grenades, some bandoliers. Fantastic. Um, okay. This this um. This is one of my favorite that I did. Uh, you know, she's got like the high-heeled uh, army boots, dreadlocks. Right. Okay. Uh, you know. She's got like bead work in yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. I, uh, okay. okay. Go, go ahead. All right. Regular backpack, radio backpack. Uh, you know, some some trophies from victims. Alien creatures. Alien victims. Right. right. Okay. Go uh, ahead. Then you'd have uh, the alternate with like pilot jacket. Okay. Sort of a sort so of that's a look. that's going to be one of the uh, torsos, right? Then? So okay. Pilot jacket, great. short cropped hair, right? Maybe non high heel boots. Although I really right. like the high heel boots. I do too. I think that They're, should be uh, all around. Yeah, yeah. Why would that's fantastic? Why wouldn't they wear high heel well, boots? Well, this is the like semi-fantasy. You know, yeah. you know? Yeah. it doesn't have to be realistic. So then, for weapons, you know, machetes, some spears for yeah, cavalry, like serrated. Uh, okay. Rifles, pistols. Ah, this this head when I drew it, it made me think of that one. There's a movie with I can't remember. Private something. Anyway, it looks like nope, this face. You're, you're yeah. losing me. All it's right. From the, from the 80s good. or 90s. So then your commander would have like a power machete and you know an officer's jacket with medals right. on it and stuff. Okay. Yeah, and then some more sample weapons. Real uh, Vietnam feel. Yeah, sniper That's rifles. That's fantastic. And, uh, flamethrowers. Which then, you mean napalm right. in the morning. This is a sample Oh, I sniper. love that. Yeah. Okay, that's great. So Now, is that going to be one of the poses? Because that seems very intrinsic. Like that. Well, I guess you get the arm to be like that, right? Just put the shoulder shoulder strap yeah, over the... Where the arm goes, yeah, right? Yeah, you could fit the torso on the leg so that it could turn. And that's the nice thing about female torsos is they can kind of, there's a point where they kind of are a circle, so you can put stuff on <coughs> there and they, you can turn it in any way you want. Right. So, I have to say that's really fantastic. Okay, so and you're, so you're doing some mounted some versions mounted as well? This one I drew as a, kind of a Cossack sort of outfit, okay. but I don't think that's quite what, uh, what anyone wanted. So. Right. So they'd probably look no, a lot more like yeah, the I, I really, quite frankly, I think with the first drawing, you're really on track. Yeah. I think like this is this is it. Just in my opinion, I, I think this is the most evocative of them. Yeah. I, I like the thing where they have t uh, tank tops. Yeah. On as All well, I think tops. that's something. Or you know, loose fitting jackets. I yeah. guess. Yeah. That happen to be you know slipping off. Right. <laughs> There's that. Nobody in, said in it had to be. Okay. Yeah. Right. All right. So keep going. Oh, was that yeah, was that it? Was the writer the last uh, yeah, sketch? Yeah, the, the writer was the last. Okay, one, so. fantastic. Well, I guess I guess my only thing would be um, just bear in mind that you, um, since the models are very small, you're going to have to exaggerate the body proportions 
to some extent. <laughs> so Mike, Mike already knows what this is about. But let, let's keep proportion in mind. Okay. All right, thank you.